if you don't want to buy the old chicks, then you will have to facilitate this process of hatching and uh, incubation by either using broody chicken or uh, eggs incubator. My name is Kevin, a poultry expert under the management of AIM Agriculture. And today we're going to talk about incubation. Incubation is a very enjoyable process. I usually enjoy it. I've been doing it for the past uh, five years and now I'm ready to share with you some more ideas. Incubation is the process by which an egg of onivoplast animals develops an embryo and make uh, with the purpose of making a young one after a given period of time. Under poultry, we have different types of birds with a different gestation period. Example, we have duck. It usually takes 28 days to hatch. Geese takes 28 days to hatch. Chicken takes 21 days to hatch. Queens takes 17 to 18 days to hatch. Today I'm going to talk specifically about chicken. Chicken just takes 21 days to hatch. In between this uh, period, there is some consideration you must follow for you to get into the right target. Example, if you want to use broody chicken to hatch, you must locate it in a very secured place and make sure there is a dry place so that you not get that contamination of bacteria and so on. And if you want to use an uh, incubator, we have different types of incubators. We have small, big, uh, we have moderate, automatic and manual. So today I'm going to, to take you through about these automatic incubators. Okay, if you want to use egg incubators for the purpose of incubating, you need to follow the following uh, steps if you want to get 95 and above percent in hatchability. Step number one, you should uh, locate your machine in a, a flat area and where there's enough ventilation the way it is. Have you seen it? Now this machine I've located in a flat area. Yeah. Second thing, if you want to incubate your egg, make sure you wash your machine thoroughly to avoid contamination of bacteria and so on. Then after you've washed your machine, then this, the third thing you need to do is to allow your machine to run for at least 24 hours. You, when your machine runs for 24 hours, you'll be able to detect some of the problems because these machines are technical. Sometimes they may fail to work for you. So it's good to test them before you set eggs inside the, uh, the machine. So after you have washed your machine, now is to set eggs. How do you set eggs? Your egg will be set as I'm going to show you step by step and this is how you're going to do it. This is what we call uh, egg trays. And this is what we call hatching tray. Both of them will be used, but at different intervals. Like this one, we'll use it for the first 18 days. Then from 18 days, we'll transfer those eggs in this tray. This is called egg tray, this is called hatching tray. So, after 18 days, you'll uh, eliminate all eggs for me and transfer them in hatching trays. I want to show you a simple way how to load eggs. You know, there's some different way you can load eggs. Some of you may fail to load it, but I can show you step by step how can you load eggs. This is your egg. This is the narrow side and this is the wider side. So make sure the narrow side starts lying on tray this way. Yeah. You lie the narrow side this way. Don't use the, the wider part to the tray. So make sure the narrow side start to lie on the tray because usually chicks, they lie, uh, they hatch from the broad side. They will come from the broad side. So when you put this one, vice versa, you will kill those birds that are growing or they are, they are being in hatched process. So you load them this way. After you've finished to load your eggs, what will you do? Is now to put in our egg in our machine. Yeah, this is our machine and I'm going to show you step by step how you can put these eggs in a machine. I'm saying this is our machine and I'm going to demonstrate for you step by step on how you can load your eggs very clearly without any interference. The first thing you need to do is to switch off your machine the way it is, then you open the door. Open the door. The way I've opened it. So, our eggs will load it here, just right here. They will stay here for the first 18 days. So, as I told you, this is what we call egg trays. So what you do, you just load, you put your eggs, yes, this way. 
yeah that way so i'm assuming you have another trace so you'll put another trace here another here another one here when you fully finish to load your eggs you make sure there's enough water in this water trough the function of this water is to maintain humidity inside the machine because it will be evaporating and to avoid those eggs from drying up so after finishing that make sure there's enough water there don't don't overflow it make sure it's slightly full the way it is then when you finish there you have loaded your eggs there's enough water what will you do is to close your machine slowly the way i'm doing it because we should have loaded all of them some of them are hatching even my chicks are here they are hatching i think you have seen them wow they're so beautiful yes now after you have done with loading your machine is to set your machine now and I want you to know that this is how to set it. This is our switch. So you put it on this way very slowly. You know, they are delicate. So when you rush, you might break it. So, okay, stop that alarm. Okay, so after you've done that, it's now on. I think you can see it on. This is our fan, this is our light. The function of this light is to view inside here. There's no need for opening this machine since it's automatic. It's good to view from outside and top up water or see which chicks is hatching and so on okay so don't let the light to be on throughout because it will increase temperature inside the machine and interfere with the normal settings so make sure you switch it on when necessary don't put the light on like right now that's an alarm it means the humidity is decreasing now you can see the humidity is decreasing to 37 when you hear that alarm it means humidity or temperature is increasing so right now automatically the humidity have decreased i think you can see it the humidity have decreased to 35 so that's why you have had that alarm so it's good to open the machine and use as fast a time as possible don't throw out open the machine because we need to maintain humidity and temperature within the machine. In fact, this is an automatic and it's not good to open the machine. Just allow it to be closed until the 18th day. That is it. Thank you.